Good morning, Heaven Bound family and all that might be listening. This is Pastor Larry with a moment in the Word on this um, second day of December. And um, I uh, was thinking this morning, I was reading an article on faith. And um, um, I was thinking about what the Bible has to say about faith. Uh, Of course, in um, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 89, it says, For by um, grace... Grace is what God does uh, in providing us a way to be saved. and um, But that grace must be mixed with faith. And faith is also a element within our character that God has given to each one of us a measure of, the Bible says. But it is up to us to act upon that faith. And only as we act upon that faith are we saved. In uh, the 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews, the entire chapter is given to the actions of what um, uh, people did because of the faith that they had. The first two verses gives us a definition of faith, but uh, it's somewhat a vague uh, definition unless we fully understand it. Um, What it says there, um, uh, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Substance is is the ingredients uh, that makes up a uh, thing or a person. Uh, The substance of of what we hope for is heaven itself, uh, is eternal life. Uh, And... um, it goes on to say that faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. In other words, we haven't seen heaven. Uh, we haven't seen Jesus. But our faith in the fact that he died for our sins and that he promised us that he was going away to prepare a place for us and that he's coming again to receive us unto himself that where uh, he is, there we may be also believing or faith in what he says he will do if we put our faith and our trust in him is the um, material if we could use that word uh, it it is uh, what uh, brings about our salvation it it uh, in other words it caps our salvation Um, I believe that Jesus died for my sins Believing that, I act upon that. I do what he says do. He said in First John 1 and 9, If I would confess my sins, he would be just and faithful to forgive me of my sins and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Now, that's a promise. Faith is believing that because I confessed my sins, he who is just, he who is faithful, forgave me my sins, and therefore I am saved and I am uh, with anticipation waiting for him to come back again that he might receive me unto himself that he might take me where he is that we might live with him forever and um, uh, the Bible goes on to say that by this faith we believe that the world was made out of things which did not exist by faith the elders obtained a good report. By faith, it goes all the way back to the first, um, one of the first boys uh, that was ever born, name of uh, Abel. The Bible says, by faith, Abel offered up a more excellent sacrifice than his brother Cain, whereby even in the grave, uh, his uh, his, uh, deeds cry out, Uh, to God. And so it goes on to say, by faith, Noah, being forewarned of God, built an ark, take him nearly 120 years to build it. But because God told him there was going to come a flood uh, and he would need that boat, believing that what God said was going to happen was going to happen, though it never had rained up to that point. Uh, Noah built an ark. Uh, By faith, it tells us that in it, walked with God and was not. In other words, uh, he left a testimony that he was a friend of God 
And one day he went for a walk and uh, all of a sudden he just, uh, God just received him to himself. Um, I was reading an article which maybe uh, will give us a, a faith that we can wrap our arms around a little bit better. I was reading about a fire in a high uh, rise building uh, in New York City and there was a blind girl who had worked her way out of the window onto the ledge of the building because the building was on fire. The firemen had become desperate because uh, the alleyway between that building and the next building was so narrow they couldn't get their ladder truck in there. So they uh, constructed a net and they uh, got out to the girl to jump into the net. The girl couldn't see the net, of course, being blind, and therefore she was afraid to jump. Finally, her father arrived at the scene. The father took the um, uh, horn there, the air horn, and he called her by name. This is your father. Listen, at my command, I want you to just release from the deal and just jump like you were jumping into daddy's arms. Down here we have a big net stretched and um, you'll land right in the net there and um, you'll not be hurt. So get ready on my command, jump. And she jumped, landed in the net. And the story is that she was so relaxed when she climbed out of the net that uh, there wasn't a single bone broken or a muscle pulled uh, out of place. What was the difference between before the father got there and the fireman who was yelling jump? I think the difference was that she had jumped many times into her father's arms. And when she heard her father's voice, then she had complete faith that what her father was commanding her to do was the best, the safe thing to do. And so when he said, okay, I need jump, she jumped. Absolute faith in the voice of her father. Over we can't see God no more than this young lady could see her father. But we can hear his voice when we open up the pages of his word. And we begin to read in first John, or in the book of St. John, chapter 14, verse 1, 2, 3. Jesus says, let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. For in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again. And I will receive you unto myself that where I am, there you may be. My friend, uh, just as the blind girl put total faith in the voice of her father and jumped, this morning I encourage you to jump right into the arms of Jesus. Put your faith in him. Open your heart's door and let him come in to be the Savior, the Lord of your life. He says in Revelation 3.20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will. A positive statement. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will come into them and I will fellowship with them and they can fellowship with me. This morning, put your faith in Jesus. If you haven't done so, ask him to forgive you of your sins and believe that he does because you asked him to and because he said he would. This is Pastor Larry with a moment in the word. You have a blessed and wonderful day and uh, hey, go forward to bless someone. Look for an opportunity to say something good to someone, to encourage them. It'll bless God. It'll bless them. And God will bless you. Have a blessed and wonderful day.